For white collar enterprise businesses, the choice of Wi-Fi and 5G today involves looking beyond the two traditional LAN metrics of data throughput, how fast, and cost per node, how much. On a cost per seat basis, private 5G gear is five times or more expensive than high quality Wi-Fi equipment. How much? However, per node pricing on its own is a red herring. Enterprises should instead focus on the long-term economic metrics of total cost of ownership, or TCO, and return on investment, or ROI. What's the ETA? ASAP, FYI. LMK. 5G has the potential to deliver groundbreaking benefits on both fronts. Eliminating islands of enterprise Wi-Fi connectivity simplifies network management by allowing businesses to monitor and manage their networks end-to-end -end using a cloud-enabled system removing the dissonance between competing IT and WAN management products. Now that reduces TCO and makes the consistent application and monitoring of policies for security, quality of service, and other key metrics significantly easier. That would be great. But it also enables enterprises to build new digital strategies on a universal policy managed layer, improving ROI and widening that competitive moat. Now, as with vertical industries, the development of robust APIs and developer environments is essential to achieving these goals. Join me next time when I look at why enterprise IT departments get so triggered by the idea of 5G in their organizations.